Mm. But caramel, so it's quite sweet. But you have this playfulness between the sweet, savory, and sharper citrusy notes. It's just beautiful. Finish. A bit of chalkiness. And a bit of ginger spice. No peat whatsoever, in my opinion. And the vanilla as well, that vanilla note is also coming out in the finish as well. It's just absolutely beautiful, stunning. Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Whiskey Journey. Today, I'm gonna to be doing another single malt squash whiskey review for you guys. So we're gonna be looking at this um, Hazel Bend 10 year old, and a bit of an impromptu review for me. I was planning on doing the Kilhoman Port Cars matured, but when I was in the town earlier today picking up this bottle, the shop actually had this on the shelf as well. So decided to get a bottle. Um, I got it wrong. It's not the latest release. Um, this one was released on the 8th of August in 22, or bottled on the 8th of August 22. Um, this Spring Bank 10 was bottled on the 19th of July 23, so it's quite recent. Um, I've had a wee taste of it and it is just as good uh, and consistent as all of the latest batches, in my opinion. You simply cannot go wrong with this one, um, or this particular batch as well. I was also interested in thinking of doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the Springbank 10 and the Hazelburn 10, but um, I don't think it's really a fair comparison, in my opinion, because I'm always gonna favor the Springbank 10-year-old because of its, um, um, because of the smokiness that I get from it, that Campbellton suit. So I'm always gonna prefer that over the Hazelburn 10, which doesn't have those elements. Um, right, so let's just get on to the review. So Hazelburn, I'm not gonna to speak too much about the single malt. Um, it's triple distilled, as most of you are probably aware. And um, we'll just get straight onto the tasting notes and um, see what we get with this one. So as I said, this one was bottled on the 8th of August, 22. So a bit of an older batch, just, just over a year old. So let's just, uh, let's just um, have a nose and see what we get on this one. Uh, just for your information, this has been um, sitting now for about an hour. Um, when I first poured it, um, the nose was quite closed. Um, I wasn't getting the usual sort of fruitiness, tropical fruit type notes from it. And I thought I would just let it sit and rest for a while. So that's been a good hour now. Okay. Right, so the fruits now, that period of resting time has really benefited this in that the fruits are now popping. So we're getting pineapple. There's some citrus notes there, so I'm getting oranges. There's definitely some lemon too. There's grapefruit as well. What I like about the stram as well on the nose is that um, you definitely get um, sweet notes, but then you get that that sort of grapefruit um, sharper note like, with the, like you get with the lemon or two. So there are some sweet notes there. Honey. dry. Difficult to explain what that means, but it's almost like when you know a wine, a white wine, not that I drink white wine, but I have had white wine in the past and it's kind of dryness to it. Now there's definitely some earthy elements as well, some soil, some minerality. I finally got the word right. Um, which to be honest with you guys, it did not um, that soil or earthy character wasn't there initially on the first, you know, when I poured this. So as, a, as, as I said, um, time in the glass is mandatory, in my opinion, for this dram. But it's really a lovely nose. So as I said, you're getting all those fruity elements with earth, honey. And as I said, it's kind of like a sweet, savory kind of feel to it as well. It's just lovely. Beautiful nose. 
little bit of coconut, tiny bit of coconut there. And some oak as well. So yeah, a complex nose. All right, let's just see how it tastes. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. So, initial arrival, oily, thick texture, it's mouth coating, full bodied, becomes quite sweet with apples, vanillas, it's quite creamy as well. And then it changes slightly, becomes a little bit sharper. So you're getting a little bit of that citrus. So you're getting the oranges, grapefruit. It becomes a bit drying, savory. That earthiness, that earthy minerality that I've got on the nose. Getting on the palate as well. And then, hmm. But caramel, so it's quite sweet. But you have this playfulness between the sweet, savory, and sharper citrusy notes. It's just beautiful. Finish. A bit of chalkiness. And a bit of ginger spice. No peat whatsoever, in my opinion. And the vanilla as well. That vanilla note is also coming out in the finish as well. It's just absolutely beautiful stunning right i'm going to add a drop of water only one drop <laughs> um if you saw my springbank 10 review um two drops of water nearly destroyed the dram so i'm just literally just the one drop Let's see if we get any change whatsoever right Mm. That vanilla note is just continuing. It almost reminds me of vanilla custard creams. It's just beautiful. That finish is long, very long. Right, so let's see if we get any change um, on the nose with a bit of water. Well, literally a drop. Right, so it's interesting. I mean, just that one drop of water and those fruity, those fruity notes, those tropical fruit notes and citrus notes are popping more. They're popping out more, I mean, sorry. Still getting honey. That one drop of water has pushed that earthiness slightly. And um, so there's definitely less earth on the nose now with just a tiny drop of water. But it's still there in the background. You can still, I still get it. The minerality as well is slightly pushed back. But as I said, it feels, on the nose anyway to me, it feels more fresh and vibrant um, with the fruits. Definitely a fresher nose now, just with that tiny drop of water. Vanilla as well. 
Okay, so the earthiness is now coming back. So it's <laughs> initially I thought it was got, you know, it was, it was being pushed, but now now it's starting to come back again. Yeah, actually, the earthiness is still quite prominent now. So caramel as well. So it's, it's all sweet, nice, very very nice between sweet and savory, and sharpness from the from the, from the citrus notes. Anyway, it's just. It's just stunning. Um, it's just stunning. Right, let's just have a have a taste. It's a juicy, juicy finish. Mm. So again, I think the extra drop of water has just added a little bit more to it. So on the initial palette, as I said um, before, you st it still retains that creamy, oily, thick texture. Um, very sweet um, initially on the palette with apples and caramel. It's almost like salted caramel apple. Um, Vanillas, but beautiful vanilla on the finish now. As I said, more of that sort of creamy custard creams. A um, little bit of minera minerality and earth. But as I said, it's 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 just fascinating how you know these drums can all differ, and um, I just love that element of the sweet, and then the savory, and then the sharpness from the lemon. But the finish is just absolutely gorgeous. It's just beautiful, um, sweet, hint of spice, and that chalkiness as well. It's just lingering in the background as well. Apples, yeah, just loads of apples. Much like the Springbank 10, I pick up apples and that. But um, what a fruity dram that is. I mean, really, really fruity, but lots of other elements as well, which make it very very interesting and underrated in my opinion and the hype for Springbank um, will always outshine the, the Hazelburn spirit but I think this Hazelburn is just fantastic the 10 year old is just really really good I was I was actually um, thinking that I would prefer the Springbank 10 far more than the Hazelburn 10 and the only thing that I prefer um, with the Springbank 10 is um, is that it's got that Campbell on soot and there's a bit more funk and earthiness on the nose. But this one is just an absolute stunner and perfect summertime dram. I can quite easily imagine myself sitting outside in the sun, just relaxing and just sipping on this very slowly and just savoring all those notes. Um, it's a complex dram for only 10 years old and um, I got this for a, a 50, a 50 pound in the shop. And okay, I know that the, the Hazelburn 10 year old, I used to get it for about 40 pounds, sometimes sub 40, about 38, 38, 99, that sort of price. But um, even at 50 quid, um, I think this is well worth it. Even now, that long, long finish is just continuing with all those beautiful, beautiful um, fruits and it's caramel, it's quite sweet, um, but not like excessively sweet, but it, it, you're still getting that slight minerality just playing along with all those, those fruits. Um, just a stunning bottle, guys. There's not much else to say about it. Um, it's just, just a great, great bottle. And I think the addition of water didn't add that much, um, 
but as I said, it definitely, um, on the nose initially, it definitely brightened up those fruits a bit, a bit more vibrant, a bit more energy, in my opinion. Um, the earthy notes uh, initially just kind of went more in the background, but then it suddenly came back. So yeah, um, adding water, you probably just need a little bit more time, just let all those notes shine. Um, but yeah, that oily thick texture is just stunning on this one as well. And um, yeah, the creamy custard vanilla creams is just still sitting there as well. Just a stunning dram, guys. Not much else to say, to be honest. Okay, guys, so that's my review for the Hazelburn 10 year old. As I said, bottled on the 8th of August 22, and it's a stunner. And um, as I said, if um, just for your information, um, this bottle is the 10 year old Springbank bottled on the 19th of July 23 and very consistent batch in my opinion um, hopefully i'll get to review it at some time i'm just i'm just going to let it settle for a wee bit first i think before i review this one or this particular batch okay guys um anyway so thanks for watching and um please like comment and subscribe to my channel it's always appreciated if you wish <laughs> but as usual guys there's nothing much else to say except have a fantastic day and also have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see all of you guys soon. Take care. Cheers.